So Rafa have up their shoe game in 2023, releasing their Pro Team Lace-Up Cycling Shoes. These $400 kicks have some really exciting new tech going on, which you need to know about. And are well also kind of the same. Let's talk about it. So Rafa's initial design for the Pro Team shoe, the shoe that released in 2020, actually included laces. Ultimately, however, Rafa stuck with a BOA closing system on that 2020 release, as they didn't feel like there was a good enough tech lace solution available. Fast forward to 2020, and enter the speed lace closure system. Triathletes will no doubt recognize the solution, but the inspiration actually came from the Salomon shoe range, their speed cross trail running line. That is, except for the locking mechanism, which was developed in-house, mainly due to the specific demands of riding over running, them not loosening over the duration of a ride. Elsewhere, the shoe build is essentially the same as the OG 2020 Protein Boa version. In-house power weave upper, full carbon and sole and the reinforced heel cup. Weight wise, again, pretty similar, but mine came in just lighter than the BOA version. Being the same carbon sole and upper as the BOA version, the fit is very similar. I would size chart the shoe very similarly to a Shimano and a Specialized in terms of true size and width. The toe box would be in line with Shimano. However, it is narrower than the Nimbles I've been riding and is certainly not as wide as the Bonts that I had ridden previously. The laces definitely do impact the fit across the bridge of the foot. The top of my foot is quite bony and the BOA versions always gave me slight pressure points across the surface and the dial of the main body. The speed lace closure system does seem to hug your foot and allow for more even pressure distribution. Now, as far as the shoes themselves, they are gorgeous. I mean, look at them. I could easily say these are the prettiest shoes I've seen in a long time. Much of that is down to the streamlined effect that the laces bring to the whole look. The Power Weave upper gives texture while the matching white heel cup, which is on the 2020 OGs as well. Look at it. I mean, come on. So fresh. So very, very clean. Speaking of clean, a white fabric shoe is an absolute magnet for everything on the road, every last bit of grease, every last bit of dirt. But these are relatively easy to keep clean. Simple nappy sand and sun drying will have them looking fresh again. But in terms of color fade or them picking up color over time, they do seem to be in line with the OG 2020 version, but they will never be a bright white because they didn't start out as a bright white. I know that surprises a lot of people, but the color is actually listed officially as a cool gray. Does the speed lace closure system alleviate any of the faff and annoyance that comes with normal laced cycling shoes? Well, no, not really. So just doing some sprints, that was my fourth one. And I just wanted to test like, do the shoes loosen up? Yeah, they do, but not, not dramatically. You certainly get away with it. In-ride adjustments are still impossible. There is still a danger of the laces coming out of the pouch mid-ride. Putting them on is not as simple as a boa. They are just more annoying. Can you do them up Julian Alaphilippe style before a sprint? No, you can't do that. So that's the same issue with laces from the very beginning. If you are like me and have your ride departure timed down to the absolute millisecond, the speed lace system is faster than a normal laced system, but is approximately 20 seconds slower per shoe than a BOA shoe. How's that for a feature in a bike product accessory review? Timed departure metrics. Don't get that anywhere else. The speed laces are replaceable. However, they do require you to send them back to Rafa. So you will be without the shoes throughout that process. The inner soles, like almost every inner sole of every premium shoe that I've ever tried are absolute trash. Yes, they come with a medium and a high arch support option. I am still yet to unbox a shoe of any premium brand and be pleasantly surprised by the inner sole. Guys, we are spending almost $500 on cycling shoes and the little thing, anyway. That's around for another day. Now the cleat adjustment markers are really, really good. There is lots of marking on these things. It's often overlooked, especially if you have multiple pairs. Don't be put off by the fact these aren't ridden in the pro peloton. The reason pros don't do that, well, there's two, two main reasons. The first is some teams allow riders to go and get their own personal sponsorships when it comes to footwear. It's a great way for them to bump up some of their salary. And the other is a lot of teams have footwear providers, so they have to run that footwear. And as it stands, Rafa doesn't have a footwear arrangement with any team, and they don't have that arrangement with ES. 
So I just wanted to clarify that. Don't be put off by the fact that they're not in a pro peloton. That's the reason. So let's sum up who these shoes are for and whether I would recommend them. The first person is if you hate laces, if you hate the idea of laces, do not buy these. These do not alleviate the problems that persist with laces. If that bugs you, don't go down this route. If you are intrigued by laces and you're willing to put up with no mid-ride adjustments in favor of a more even fit, then sure. Have a look at these. And if you're a Laces fan already, you are going to love these. The Power Weave Upper with the Speed Lace Solution. These are the dream, go and buy them. Now be sure to check out some of my previous shoe reviews. There have been many, and also don't forget to hit that like and the sub on the video. Guys, I will catch you real soon.